You've seen how the presence of a solute can lower the vapor pressure of a solvent and thereby increase the boiling point of the solution. We mathematically modeled this behavior with a boiling point elevation constant that we multiply by the concentration of the solute in molality to get the change in boiling point. There is a similar effect on the freezing point of a solution, which can be modeled in the same way. In this case, the freezing point goes down instead of up, so the phenomenon is called freezing point depression. These three phenomena can be summarized in this phase diagram. We have the decrease in the vapor pressure of the solution, which can be determined at any temperature. At whatever atmospheric pressure we are operating, we have the resulting increase in boiling point and decrease in the freezing point. An easy way to remember the direction of the changes is to think about the liquid region getting larger. While we discussed a molecular level explanation for vapor pressure lowering, which led us directly to an understanding of boiling point elevation, we are not going to go into a similar molecular level explanation for freezing point depression. The reason for this is that the explanation would require a number of advanced concepts that are typically not covered until a course in physical chemistry. Freezing point depression is used to de-ice roads, sidewalks, and aircraft wings, and to prevent the water in your car's radiator from freezing in winter.